Okay. Hey guys, it's Bob Yeager. So on today's episode of Trucks, Tools, and Tractors, we're working on the 93 Chevy 1500. Now, this truck's got like 280,000 miles on it. And one of the big things you get when you have old engines is blow-by. And that's, you take your oil cap on the side of your valve cover. A lot of times you'll see it, if you loosen it up, it'll just kind of shake around a lot. It'll be like kind of coming out and oil shoots out, all right? Maybe not a lot, but enough. You can start getting things like you're burning oil and stuff like that. Well, what you want to do, most of the time, what guys want to do is replace all their valves and rings and pistons and, and all that stuff. But I'm going to do it different, and Sammy's holding the camera for me. Um, so Sammy's actually helping me ceramic coat the engine of my truck. Now, it's not a coating, really. I'm using Surtec because... I used to do engineering at a robotics company, and what I know is chemical engineering and mechanical engineering. And when I read the reports on Surtec, I realized this actually resurfaces all the metal. So all the little grooves and all the little spaces and the worn down metal, it gives it a ceramic nano coating and it actually fuses itself to there to resurface, not coat like other things. I've tried other oil additives and they just coat stuff. This resurfaces the metals. You can put this on like chainsaw blades and transmissions and differentials. Surtec has everything uh, for every kind of engine, four-cylinder, six-cylinder, eight-cylinder gas, diesel. In another video, I'm going to show you doing it on an old diesel tractor. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one and a half tubes of this into my V8, into my 350 5.7 liter, one and a half tubes now. We're going to run this thing for 100 miles, and then we're going to come back, do an oil change, and put another tube and a half in there. And we should be good for about 10, 15, 20, 50,000 miles, okay? So first thing is we're going to put a whole tube. Sam, keep that camera over, you know. We're just going to shoot it right down into the, the oil there, right in the valve cover. Make sure you get it all in there. And the owner of this company, Bob Pond, he really made it simple for us to do this. It's like no fuss, no muss, right, Sam? Mm -hmm. Have you seen that? Come around here, Sam, and point it right there. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just take this other one and just put a half a tube in there. Okay, and I'm going to save the rest of that one for later. Just like that. Okay, back up there, Sam. And what's nice is Bob was thinking he didn't make you cut stuff. He didn't make you do stuff. You just take this little cap and press it back on. Comes in a little bag. Nothing fancy. That's what I love about this company. They didn't get all fancy with stupid packaging that you can't open and all that crap it's like here's your stuff here's instructions and it comes in a nice little mail form all i'm going to do is stick this in my truck the kids and i are going to go out to the farm today and work on some stuff on the barn and everything and after about a trip or two of doing that we should be at about 100 miles and have sufficiently resurfaced the inner, inner parts of our engine. Now what I am going to do, even though I really like Surtec and even though I really like Bob Pond, the owner, I'm going to give you guys an honest review of it because if it didn't work, I'm going to tell you. All right, back up. Okay. So on an old truck like this, uh, the one thing you don't want to be doing, I mean, you might go to a junkyard and get an engine, but uh, look, see, I'm filming the side of the truck, not in the sun and everything, but look, see this? You don't want to be putting a brand new engine in this or spending like three grand rebuilding the engine, all right? You want to do what you can to save what you got. Now, this truck still has a lot of power. The transmission, uh, four-wheel drive, everything's still good on it because it's internally well taken care of. But it's a work truck, guys, all right? So what we want to do is start using things like this as we can. This is not an oil additive. It's a resurfacing, ceramic resurfacing product. And... Uh, there's a lot of documentation on SirTechGels.com. You can wait for me to record another video to show you the final results, or you can go to SirTechGels.com and try it out for yourself. What's nice is if you call their 1-800 number, Bob answers the phone, Bob Pawn, and uh, he actually answers all your questions and stuff, right? So that's it for today on Trucks, Tools, and Tractors, and thank you to our beautiful camera lady, and that, that would be Sammy. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time live online. Take care.